Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Emo Audio to Face. Now, if you remember when I uploaded that AI Sora video a couple of weeks back, I talked about how, you know, until we can actually control what these AI videos are saying or give them some dialogue, I'm not going to be using them. With that being said, yesterday, a bunch of researchers from Alibaba Group pretty much just showcased that. They were able to use audio to facial animation or audio to face using one of the AI Sora videos. So this is kind of like the same technology as NVIDIA Omniverse audio to face, but instead of on a 3D model, it's on a 2D video. So let's go ahead and check it out real quick. Uh, maybe we have several of them and maybe they all have different competences. And maybe we have a general one that kind of follows us around everywhere, knows everything about, uh, you know, my context, what I've been up to today, um, what my goals are um, sort of in life, at work, and kind of guides me through and coaches me and so on. And it <clears throat> Yes, one. And in this manner, he was to imagine me his love, his mistress. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in how you're feeling. And also, you don't need to... Let's put a smile on that face. And... Why so serious? Even learn, ah, he did this to me. Jian Xiu Mao, Chi Xiu Mao, Jian Jin Shi Hou, Chi Jin Shi Hou, Jian. This, 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 Dong Bei Hu, Chi Dong Bei Hu. This is all called something. All right. So, I posted something last night before I went to sleep, and on a community page, kind of asking your opinion on this whole AI versus Unreal Engine type of deal. Because right now, AI, my, my AI videos are getting a lot more videos than my Unreal Engine videos. I feel, I feel like people are getting. You know, tired of the Unreal Engine stuff and not much going on. So AI is kind of slowly taking over uh, the channel. So I was asking, like, is it still worth learning 3D softwares? Knowing that this technology, a bunch of people, I think three or four or five people, were able to do this right here. Because if you watch this facial animation, this is obviously the best I've seen so far using just reference image it is pretty much giving you facial animation i have seen deep fake from where it when it first came out to where it is now maybe a decade later and it's advanced so much so i'm looking at this every time i see a research paper like this i always and, and I know some of the examples have uh, copyrighted music, so I'm not even going to bother with that. But I'm just going to go ahead and let this play through. But I've seen Deepfake grow. I've seen a lot of AI technology, uh, EB Synth. I've, I've used EB Synth a long time ago. I've seen those technologies grow. And seeing research paper like this now... It just really makes you wonder if it's is is it even worth bothering with Unreal Engine and meta humans and facial animation and stuff like that or man you know it just it's just because even the cartoons version looks so freaking amazing that give it two years three years. Even they have tongue movements, they have blinking, they have those random kind of eye movements from a single photo. But yeah, I don't want this video to be too long. I just wanted to show this real quick. But this, again, is, is the best one I've seen. It's the best one I've seen so far as far as audio to video. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think. If you want to check out the research paper, I'll put the link uh, in the description below or in the comments below. Till then, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.